Hey there, Sharon Hornells from here. Welcome to day 118 of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. We're doing one thing every day to get what we want. I'm doing something every day to get what I want, move toward the goals and objectives I have set for my life. And hopefully you're doing one thing every day to get what you want as well. This month, the whole month of April, we've been focusing on our spiritual health, our spiritual well-being. And that's one of the life framework areas that we're diving deep into as we set goals this year. We are, we've done emotional in February, mental in March, spiritual in April. We're going to jump to physical in May. So I think Monday is May 1st. We'll see. <laughs> Got to check the calendar. But we're going to then break down our physical well-being, our physical health, and how we set goals and objectives in that. The end of each month, we are spending seven days talking about the process that we identified in January for the goal getting goal setting process. And today is step five of that. We're talking about step five of the goal setting process with respect to our spiritual well-being and our spiritual goals. We set a goal a couple of days ago. We turned it into a smart goal. We, well, we told our story and our situation, where we are now versus where we want to be. Then we created a SMART goal for that. We just picked one as we go through this process. And if you identified several goals, you can go back then and do the rest of the steps for each of those goals and objectives. I like to choose a maximum of three goals for each different life framework area of my life. Sometimes I only have one because it's a big one and I'm working on that. And I want to spend all my energy on that spiritual goal or that financial goal. Other times I'll have three different goals going in, in different areas and aspects of my life. It depends what needs the most work because every year I reevaluate and I say, okay, from a priority standpoint, how do I rank each of these? And the one with the lowest value is the one I'm going to put the most effort into provided that that makes sense for what else is going on in my life. So today our step five is <clears throat> identifying milestones and tracking and making, well, making and tracking progress, right? We need to, to dig deep into those areas and have ways of doing it because things like spiritual goals tend to be very, very intangible and subjective. It's hard to measure them, but there are ways to measure. And we want to do that because what we measure matters. What we measure, we pay attention to. What we pay attention to, we create in our life. So as far as, I need a magnifying glass. <clears throat> Uh, so we're going to have a couple action items today. Number one, we're going to identify some key milestones for achieving the spiritual goal and objective that you set for yourself. Uh, and then we're also going to decide when and how often, how frequently we are going to check in on our progress to see, are we achieving the milestones? Are we moving toward what it is that we want? Because sometimes we'll do things and they don't move us toward what they want. They actually move us a couple of steps backwards. And instead of getting frustrated about that, we need to say, well, why did this happen? Why did this thing I think was going to work and move me toward my goal actually cause me to take a couple steps back? And it's usually because there's some unresolved issue in our life or in our the thing we're trying to create that we need to, to address. We don't even need to necessarily fix it, but we need to acknowledge it before we can move on. Sometimes there's a past experience that we've had that we need to let go of because guess what? It's in the past and there's nothing we can do to change it now except change the way we look at it in order to let it go. <clears throat> so how do we identify milestones and why do we want to do that since they can be subjective and really, really intangible. We want to find ways to measure what we can measure. Uh, and that can include things like journaling. It can include having a meditation practice where we just think about and consider uh, as we're meditating the progress in the direction that we're going. Um, we can, we use them and we, we want to have milestones because they keep us motivated toward what it is we want. A lot of times when we set a goal for ourselves, especially when it's an annual or longer goal, that's considered a more long-term goal. We need to, and we've already done that. We broke it down into pieces, but we need to do that in order to keep us motivated along the way. I don't know about you, but sometimes life gets busy and things get in the way. And I forget about even having that goal until I hit my reminder on my phone that says, oh, you need to review your spiritual goals and your progress today. So that's one of the ways we can uh, monitor our progress. There now are goal setting, goal getting apps online that you can set reminders. You can set reminders on your phone. Pretty much everybody has an, a cell phone these days, right? Or a, I don't even know what we call them anymore. They do more than just be a phone. Mine, the least I use my phone for is actually being a telephone these days. It's more my camera, my video camera, things like that. Um, but we want to make sure 
that we find ways to make it easy and automatic to track our progress, right? If, if we make something easy, if we make it automatic, if we make it a habit, it gets done. If we don't, life gets busy. It gets in the way. There are so many things vying for our attention nowadays. We have to do things intentionally to create the life that we want. So there's goal tracking apps. You can journal, you can meditate, you can visualize. I'd say a couple of the things that we can do personally that will move our life in the direction we want to go faster than anything are meditation and visualization. Meditation helps us, it helps me to get clear on what it is that I want and why I want it. And then visualizing what I want, make sure that I'm setting the intention and imagining as if I've already created it and I already have that thing in my life and feeling the feelings and putting all of my personal power and energy toward creating that vision as my new reality as quickly and easily as possible. So what are we gonna do today? Identify some milestones. Identify at least three milestones that you are gonna keep track of and move toward as you're achieving the spiritual goal you've set for yourself. Mine was to create a, um, a, a nonprofit, probably a nonprofit. I'm leaning more toward the nonprofit as I look into it, that helps people with chronic pain. And in order to do that, I've got a, I've started businesses and run businesses before. So I actually already have a checklist of what do you need to do to start and run a business. I don't have one for nonprofits, so I'll tweak it for nonprofits. But I have a checklist and that checklist becomes milestones. And I, I have bigger things that have to happen in that I call milestones. And at least monthly, I will check progress and say, okay, are we on track? Are we not? I do the checklist consistently, usually every day or weekly for sure. And then the, mile, the, the progress check once a month to make sure that I'm on track and moving toward what I want. And sometimes I won't be. So then I need to say, well, what is my corrective action? What am I going to do to adjust where we're a little bit off track and not making progress? Or understanding why I'm not making progress. Because sometimes obstacles and things get in the way. Sometimes life gets in the way. Sometimes things happen that are outside of our control. Uh, sometimes lack of motivation. If I, if I notice that I'm not making progress because I'm not really motivated, I have to reevaluate. Is this something that I truly, truly want? And why do I want it? Why did I set this goal in the first place? If it's overwhelmed because I'm trying to do too many things at the same time, I have to really look at my priorities and say, okay, is this a priority? And if not, acknowledge that and accept that. But if it is, reinvigorate and get back on track. And remind myself that I can only do something in the present moment. And I can usually only do one thing at a time, right? Unless I'm delegating or getting other people to help me. Uh, Self-doubt will creep in. That's another obstacle to achieving our goals and objectives and, and uh, hitting our targets and milestones. Uh, what do we do for that? Well, maybe we talk to someone. We have a coach or a mentor, or maybe we look for inspirational stories of people that have done something similar to what we're trying to do before. Whatever works for you. Maybe all we need to do is journal and get it out of our system and remind ourselves of all the things that we've done that were successful in the past. That will overcome self-doubt and increase our confidence, which we're going to spend a whole month talking about this year. And uh, finally, we need to pay attention to and make sure we're limiting distractions and procrastinating activities that are getting in the way of us making progress in our goals and objectives. And that might be our cell phones, that might be television, that might be other people, that might be habits that aren't necessarily in our own best interests. Only you know what your distractions are and what triggers you to, to participate in those distractions. For me, it's often frustration or overwhelm will cause me to go down a path that is either procrastinating or feeling overwhelmed or frustrated, et cetera. And all those to me are challenges and obstacles to overcome. So our action item today, identify at least three milestones and then share the frequency at which you're going to check your progress. Me, monthly progress checks, milestones via a checklist. And I might look at some goal apps because I'm really curious about them. I've never used a goal app, but I'm sure there's like thousands of them by now. So I'm not going to check out thousands, but I might check out a couple today to see if they would help me to track my progress. All right. If I can help in any way, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.